Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channel and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So this past Sunday at Bishop Lamore's church in Brooklyn, it went down. Check it out. Applause. While they take pictures and they want to be on social media, take the pictures, take the pictures, take the pictures. Take the pictures, take the pictures. Go over here, go over here. Grab her, grab her out. Grab her out. Now you gonna grab, grab her out. Grab her out. Grab her out. Grab her out. Get out Grab her, grab her. Grab her, grab her. So as you saw there, he was in the middle of preaching his sermon. Now, let me back it up a little bit. Bishop Lamore Whitehead has been in the media a lot lately, especially since that of April, when he and his wife were robbed of between $400,000 and a million dollars worth of jewelry that they had on their body one Sunday morning as robbers ran up into the church while it was recording and all that and alleviated him and his wife of their very expensive pieces. Okay, and so from that point, it's kind of been uncovered that Bishop Lamore Whitehead likes the finer things in life. Like in this particular video, as he was delivering his sermon, he had on a Dior suit from head to toe, right? So as he was delivering that sermon, it sounds like it was a lot of commotion going on in the back. And what it was, was two ladies had went into the church there and I guess they were trying to live stream uh, while he was live streaming. And it got a little bit heated and you can hear they was, you know, going back and forth. And one of the women, I guess it sounds like maybe she was invited to come up in front of the church. And then when she got up there, you know, she was loud talking and this, that, and the other. And the bishop grabbed her on the back of her neck and kind of escorted her. He put, he laid hands on her to say the least, escorted her up out of the view of the camera. And it got, you know, pretty rough from that point. And so it sounds like the lady's name is Tasha. She was there with her friend trying to go viral. And as you see here in this clip, they were talking about what well, actually was the friend talking about, you know, the bishop went viral. So check it out. See you. I'm out here in Brooklyn. The uh, bishop wanted to go viral. He hit my friend, y'all. I came to get footage for my, per my podcast. I see my. So as you saw there, you know, she talking about he's going viral. Now, um, also in her video, she was talking about why haven't they arrested him? Oh, he needs to go to jail for what he did to my friend. And as you can see on her friend's neck, there are scratches from when it looks like he grabbed her. I wouldn't necessarily say he choked her, but that's what they're saying. So maybe he choked her off camera. I don't know. But yeah, nevertheless, he laid hands on her. But I want to say this. I have a lot of critique of the bishop. Lord knows I do. From how he spends people's money in the church to him and his wife flaunting the red bottoms. I have a lot of critique of him. I really do. I think he's a charlatan. However, I think... You will not get choked if you do not provoke. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, to the sister, like the man seemed like he is with the stuff, right? And so you're going to go up there and provoke him to do what? I mean, I can't really side with the sister on that at all because I don't think you should be trying to provoke men hollering and screaming, go, going up. Because, I, you know, I'm not really a violent person, but I can feel his frustration. And when he put his hands around her neck, because it's like, first of all, what you're doing is very rude and it's uncalled for. If you want to speak to me, you do that while I'm not in the middle of service. But you came and got what you was looking for. And it wasn't no communion. It wasn't no grape juice and crackers. 
It was something else that you didn't like. And so now you're trying to cry foul like, oh, look what he did to me. He's a man. Oh, he put his hands on me. Yes, he did. I'm not saying he should have. I, you know, I, I think there's other ways he maybe could have prayed you away. I don't know what he could have done, but I don't think you get to provoke people and then decide how they respond to you provoking them. And so I'm going to say this to us as ladies, not all of us. I ain't even talking to y'all. I'm talking to them over there. Okay. Stop provoking men. And then when you get what I think you kind of went for, do you want to say, Ooh, I'm a damsel in distress. Look what he did to me. No, you're not. At that point, you're not acting like a lady. You acting like something else because ladies don't behave like that. And so, you know, I, in this case, hope that the bishop does not get arrested because I don't think that he should be. I don't know, man, in case it is kind of assault that he put his hands on it. But I think there should be some provisions or some people should look into it and say, well, I mean, because he did say this. Now, he did say, I thought that maybe, you know, this wild wildebeest was going to lunge at my wife and my daughter. So, I mean, I, I think he probably has some grounds because... She was uncontrollable up in there with a loud, big old mouth acting crazy. So I think that could be a good defense. But, you know, I don't feel any sympathy for that lady at all, Tasha. I don't feel any sympathy for you at all. And hopefully you learn your lesson. Stop messing with people. You want to go viral? Well, there you go. But you're going for the wrong reasons. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of the story. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.